<laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. God, that is... <laughs> it's big already. Wow. Hey, buddy, watch this. It's Murloc. With a K. Get it? <laughs> Yeah, I got to play in the theorycrafting event and build some sunken city decks early. And this one is a Murloc Warlock using a bunch of the new Murloc cards like Asharin Scavenger and Bloodsint Vilefin and Gorlock Ravager and buffing them up with things like Chum Bucket or Void Gill to build some mega Murloc boards in the mid game. That's some great alliteration and I got a couple cool games for you in this video. Rock bottom on one? Is that worth the start against this Demon Hunter? No. Gives you a mercenary, like this is a good curve, but again, I don't think this deck succeeds best when it's curving like this, right? I think this deck actually succeeds more when you flip in the mid game. So do you take this reliable curve? Dredge can also like fix the curve a little, but Demon Hunter is just really good at dealing with the one ones. Just eat a 1-1. One, one. Doesn't feel that good to me. I feel like I'm thriving more with Void Gill and Scavenger. And maybe just try to hit some Chum Buckets. I mean, this is the Chum Bucket Enabler, so it's it's interesting in that regard. But let's look for a better hit package. None of these cards excite me, right? I think Scavenger excites me. Vilefin excites me. Void Gill excites me. Scout, I think, excites me a little more. I think we still hold on the rock bottom though. Play for Chum Bucket, play for for follow-ups. Oh, hello. Hello. I think we just take this, right? I can never whiff. There, there's only Chum Bucket. Oh, actually, I could whiff. I could get Rock Bottom, Chum Bucket, and Tamsin. Exactly. And whiff on this dredge. But we don't want to wait too long, and I think a 3-3 buff is sufficient, right? Like, that's a pretty good buff. That's, that's going to be enough to swarm. Okay, we do not whiff. <sighs> Ravager... May not really need the reload, but it's just the best like curve fit to Mutanus. Yeah, I know. I, I I liked Mutanus against Demon Hunter last time. That's what I'm thinking about. Chum bucket, baby. Let's go. Not gonna greet it. Oh my god, that is <laughs> it's big already. Wow. Next turn's probably the two drops, right? Probably scout and amalgam. Just get that scout down. I like the higher health totals. I guess this actually has the same health total though too, doesn't it? Yeah. Woo. This pushes more damage though, I guess. Overall, kind of. Not really though. Maybe it's these two? Maybe it's these two for max damage output, right? And then just follow it up into these two. Because I still have the five curve anyway, so I don't really need that. Uh, I mean, I will say that I'm not reacting to anything, so using the rush right now is a little bit of a downside, but I just want to create as much pressure as I can right now. Let's just go. Make him have it. This puts 12 in, and then I can, you know, dump another 4 to 6, basically. Hopefully, anyway. This is a pretty high health total to deal with on turn 4 already. Utanus is kind of like a hope that you know, assuming we don't get... I, I want to get there, obviously, on this initial push. But this is like, if I don't get there, maybe I can eat their win condition kind of backup plan, right? Wow. That's really good, right? Jeez, dude. Coin, too? He's not going to effectively deal with these, right? Dude. If he had coin to answer these, like, he'd almost have it. It's crazy. Still gonna answer this one, which is not bad, I'd say. I, I'd count that a victory, probably. <laughs> not bad to not take damage and deal with that. It's pretty good. I'm gonna load up really hard now, though. Mm, I guess we can see what this is. Huh? I don't know, man. It's like, yeah, this is like the pivot. I mean, we did see those like crazy taunt guys earlier. Yeah, maybe just in case. 
I don't know. I'm hoping this gets there, right? This is the kind of push, but again, we can we can pivot a little if needed. Blood scent tap is another great reload next turn, pretty much no matter what. Oh my god, dude, the Kurtz here is nuts. It's actually insane. Wow. Okay. Takes out the war leader. I got six showing and they're at 20. Tamsin for later is good too. Yeah, we'll just tap here into whatever this is and play it. Probably the bigger the better, right? Oh, war leader actually is great for more damage push immediately, I think. Ravager's reload, but I have Tamsin. I have bigger plays, so let's go for the war leader here to, to really, uh, really push this turn, right? I'm not dead or anything. Man, that was a really good... Really good answer. Chaos Strike. Doesn't feel like enough just yet. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I guess he's healing quite a bit though. Oh, it's not enough. I have 13 exactly. Wow. Okay. <laughs> cool, dude. What did I eat? What did I eat? Let's see. Combo anything? Uh, oh, that seems like a combo piece of some kind. I don't know. Not that it matters. <laughs> Fun, dude. Okay. That was pretty much perfect example of what this deck can do. And honestly, Warshack gave it a go, man. Like, almost handled it. I mean, I wish somebody would double check the Murloc Tidecaller. Somebody said that they thought it was in and that Trump played it. But if so, I'm, I'm just the worst deck builder because I was desperately looking for one drops and couldn't find any. Maybe it was there all along and I just missed it. Seems so unlikely to me, but it's not impossible. But it would definitely help. I think we go here against Paladin in particular, right? This is a great opener. I mean, I literally just typed in Murloc and added every card. <laughs> I, just, yeah, I didn't do anything super sophisticated. There was a couple I chose not to run that felt awkward or low powered or whatever for one reason or another. But for the most part, I just typed Murloc and, and entered every card. Maybe I decided it wasn't worth it. I, I don't know. Seems good, though. Oh. And it's usually still going to be enough to contest in many cases. Oh, I think we just go tiny fit. Oh, it's in. It's right there. Literally. Yeah, I just missed it, I guess. Or maybe I decided not to run it. Maybe I decided it wasn't right because the deck is more of a mid range deck. That might actually be the argument. Maybe I decided I wanted more meaty, significant, valuable cards because we expect this deck to be more about the mid game. I think that's actually a pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable conclusion. <sighs> Boy, this is a good chum bucket, but I don't react as well to this minion. That said, Scavenger doesn't really react that well either. This is plus four, plus four. But it's off curve, but it's plus four, plus four. I'm hesitating. Like, if this was a Murloc, right, I would just be in absolute business. Do I take... And I'm going to be off curve again next turn is what I really hate about this. I'm going to make some people mad, but it's okay. It's happened before. It'll happen again. Uh, yeah, we don't need face damage yet. We want better minions. <laughs> it's happened before and it'll happen again. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go for the curve here, I think. I'm going to go Lush Water, Chum Bucket, maybe, or maybe the other order. I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. Maybe I just go Vile Fin, I guess, actually. Yeah, we'll just go Vile Fin and get the, the good card. Then we'll set up a Chum Bucket on these Twin Fin dudes. That's going to be nuts. Okay. I mean, I do need to be sure that I, you know, I, I have the play, but I think it's, I think it's three drop chum bucket twin fin next turn, or maybe I just go chum bucket first if these all survive, right? That's probably enough. Yeah, that'd be fine. I think these will all survive. Famous last words, right? <laughs> it's just that he's a minion based deck in particular, so. I think there's a higher than than zero chance these all survive. Point zero, point zero two. 
Initializing descent. Maybe one dies like a rushed minion or something, but I mean, these are about to get real gross. I think I'd rather lose the buff on the three drop, right? And get an extra plus one, plus one here. We'll just go here first. These will be plenty big. I mean, if you think about it though, this is duplicating the buffs across these. Now it's probably better to play the three drop first, then play Chum Bucket. Oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> dude. Yeah, we'll play the three drop first, then we'll play Chum Bucket. I mean, if I wanted to, I could even play Lush Water Mercenary first, but I want that to get the stats as well. It's like I get plus one, plus one twice on the twin fins if I go in this order. I get, I think we just do this. This is the middle ground turn, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I guess there's some debate about how I how I execute the rest of this turn, right? Like I think I'm probably just gonna kill off this boon catcher here and like hit. I do kinda wanna recognize any as a threat as well though. If I double trade these, I reduce their health a lot, but maybe that's actually still still a little better. Maybe I trade one like this. Yeah, that's probably the, That's the hedge. That's the hedge. Okay. <laughs> dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. Two nine sevens for three mana is pretty wild. With rush, too, I do. Oh my god. Okay. That went well. Our story tragic. Our redemption divine. Kotori? Into Gorilla Abot into <laughs> that did not quite keep up, did it? Cool, dude. Really cool. Against a minion-based deck like that, that is a champion kind of play. They don't have the qualities and stuff to answer it, right? <laughs> 